Y'all ready? Let's go, let's go, y'all ready? Let's go, let's go. Hey, my connectors, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. Join the family if you like the food. It's the place to be. You come and have a little fun with your girl, can't see. Baby, we in a storm. We are in a storm at the Chick-fil-A. <laughs> ASMR. I don't like that. As long as it don't start lightning. It's fine as long as it don't start lightning. We, we good. Oh, I'm sorry. Can I try the honey pepper pimento chicken uh, meal? The meal, please. Thank you. All right, you too. to get the app. I can see. What's up my connectors and welcome back to the channel. So today we are in a storm and rain or whatever we in right now. But I came out to try this um honey pimento what is it? Honey pepper pimento chicken sandwich. So welcome back to the channel. Yeah we in we, we out here. It was not raining like this when I left. It was just drizzling. Now we in a whole storm. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Ooh, that lemonade good. So have y'all tried it? Mmm. Maybe we not gonna be out here long. Y'all know I don't play with the rain. All right, so here's the sandwich. I don't know about this one, y'all. Oh, it's jalapenos on there. Okay, let's try it. Oh, no. about that one. I don't like the um I don't like the cheese the pimento cheese thing. Yeah, I don't like that part. That ain't good to me. It just tastes like a lot going on. It could have just did a spicy chicken sandwich or something like that with this, like the honey, honey, honey jalapeno chicken sandwich. In my opinion, I don't like all that cheese on there like that. Mm -mm. Don't like that one. <laughs> cheese and all that on it, that's too much. I wouldn't run out and get that one. Now I saw somebody else eating it and she was like, it was so good. That's not good to me. I 
remember eating pimento cheese with my grandma a long time ago. But that ain't that whatever that is, that ain't it. What y'all eat y'all fries with? Mmm, fries good. So no, baby, that ain't gonna work for us. <clears throat> I done scraped all the stuff off. I scraped all the stuff off and left the chicken. Mm -mm. I could have got my spicy chicken deluxe. Anyway. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching the video yesterday. I don't know if y'all can hear me. Hopefully you can with all this shenanigans. But um, baby, that sushi bake, if you have not seen that video, that sushi bake was born. I got up late last night eating it. That was delicious. I don't even know why I came out to try this because the girl was eating it. And she made it look good. But this ain't it. I think Wendy's had something too, but I forgot what they had. But let me ask y'all something though. Cause I done got bamboozled again. All right, y'all know how when stories come out, you be like, I cannot believe that. So I don't know if you remember or you saw them. Where the lady said the man hit in the face with the brick and nobody at the club or whatever helped her. Well, now they said the lady lied. Y'all let me know if that story was true or not because I automatically believe that lady. Because she had a whole lump on the side of her head. And they said that was an allergic reaction. The people at the hospital. And there was no police report filed. Well, see, that really messes you up because you'd be like, you'd be wanting to, to help and donate. I think she raised like $40,000. And the lady was lying. I can't even make up a lie like that. Just say, for instance, my lip that blew up all of a sudden. That would not be the first thing I think about. It's saying that somebody hit me across the head with a brick. That is crazy. Y'all, that's crazy. Why is this man running, this man a circle around this parking lot four times? Please tell me y'all know what I'm talking about. Cause they say the lady lied. They said it was no police report. The hospital said it was an allergic reaction. I'm in disbelief. Why? In this day and age, why I would be shocked? I don't know, because it's just some of the stuff that people would say. It's going to get to a point where nobody's going to help anybody. That's what we're getting to. Because <clears throat> you're not going to believe people. Somebody said somebody hit her in the face with a brick. And nobody helped her. No surveillance cameras. Nothing. In this day and age, everybody got some type of surveillance cameras. Or people would have pulled out their phone. 
Nobody pulled out their phone. I can't believe that. I don't know why. I still can't believe it. Lord, have mercy. And then, I want to talk about, you know, Steve Harvey and Shirley Strawberry. The way that he, I don't know, y'all, I don't know if y'all know, but I really like Steve Harvey. I really do. I used to listen to him every morning. Him and Shirley and Tommy. And I'ma just pray for them because there's just a lot going on. But for Shirley husband to lie to her this whole time about who he is. That's why when people be like, you got to get to know people. You don't never know people. You don't, ne you never know people. That man lied this whole time. He lied to his wife. He living two different lives. That is so scary. Mm -mm. I just ask for protection, discernment, strength, clarity. Cause you can't, you can't never say that. It'll never happen. You can't say that. Peace. Because sometimes you just be a target for people. It could be what you have. It could be what they think they can get from you. You just have to... You know, have to ooh, child. Mm, mm, mm. That's scary. But... One thing I'm saying, I am so glad that he, like Steve forgave her and was like, it's fine. You know, all this stuff happened last year, but the, the recordings are just coming out now. But when you build a relationship with somebody or people, people will give you grace. You know, some people. And the fact that they're able to, you know, forgive each other, move on, pray for each other, help each other through this. It's crazy. And I guess her daughter was trying to warn her. I don't know the whole story. I just heard them talk about it this morning. But you have to allow each other grace. Ain't nobody perfect. You know? When she said Steve did not introduce her to him. That's crazy. That man was living a double life. And she was she was down for her husband though, baby. She was sticking by his side, I guess, until she found doubt he was crazy. I mean with lying. When people talking about do I pray? Yes, I pray, baby. You better. You can't get this fun life without praying. I don't think. You just never think your life will turn out the way sometimes it'll turn out. <clears throat> you gotta have a strong foundation around you. And the fact that they just never kept bringing it up, you know, when she was at work, 
until she was ready to talk about it i think that's really good that's really that's that is support you know people can't wait to throw stuff up in your face when you think things are going good for people people will be glad to throw it in your face or watch you fall or watch you fail or that pimento sandwich thing is not good the jalapenos on there is good i scraped all that off But yeah, so man, it's crazy. And nothing is is like confidential anymore. Even though she knew the rec the the phone calls were gonna be recorded. That lady never thought that the phone calls are going to be public. Somebody got paid for that. But yeah. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about that. But I like Steve Harvey. I like him as a motivational speaker. And of course, no, we don't know people personally or nothing like that. I just like how he uses aspects of his life to kind of help other people or motivate other people. Mm -hmm. God, I don't I'd probably be sitting up like this right here, just like I went to bat for you. I lost friends for you. I lost family for you. And you just lied day after day. Lord, have mercy. Jesus be a fence. <laughs> all around me every day Jesus I need you to protect me as I travel along the way <laughs> I'm telling you baby I gotta take it back old school these days Mm -mm -mm. Oh, you gotta. I'm talking about this is years. Like, I didn't know. She, I thought she was married maybe five years. She say eight. Yeah, that was that wasn't good at all, y'all. I mean, I figured it wasn't when I first saw it, but I don't know who came up with that one, but that wasn't it. That wasn't it. Now I want to slow down rain. Try. Look at my head. All right. So what would I rate it? I wouldn't. I wouldn't even rate that one. There was nothing to rate it on because that was just a cheese spread thing on top of chicken with honey and pepper. That was that. First of all, that was too much going on in the first place. <laughs> that was just too much. Like. Where are we going with it? Like, are we going to do a spicy chicken sandwich or a sweet and spicy chicken sandwich? That probably would have been the bomb. But a spicy, sweet chicken sandwich with the with the cheese and the... And it's not like a cheese sauce. It's shredded cheese. Mm-mm. Anyway. If y'all want something good, try the sushi bait. <laughs> Well, thank y'all so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. Much love, peace, and blessings to each and every one of y'all. 
for each and every one of you. And until the next video, continue making connections with endless possibilities. Y'all be careful. Y'all be careful. Just ask for discernment. Ask for protection. Ask for guidance. Ask for ask for things to be revealed to you. No matter how bad it hurts. No matter who it is. Just ask for things to be revealed to you. And uh Woo! My God. Ask for clarity. But yeah, y'all be safe out there. Be careful. But let me know what you think. Or have you heard of any one of those stories? The girl with the the brick thing and uh Shirley Starberry. I send love and prayers to all of them. I am not I can't judge nobody, child. I can't judge nobody. Just woo, one day at a time. I ask for peace. <laughs> Baby, peace is priceless. When you ain't got nothing like that going on in your life, you have to be grateful. I'm grateful for just that peace. I, I got a little bit of peace that I don't have all that going on. Of course, we all have stuff going on, but um, I thank God for what I have going on because I don't want nobody else's world. I don't want nobody else's life. I don't want nobody else's fortunes. I don't want to be no target to anybody. I just want to be chilling. Just put me on the ship. No, I don't want to say that right now. Because did y'all see the ship in the doggone storm with all the food and stuff on the floor? Child. All right, bye.